Last year, the Southeastern Lions lost six games that were within one possession in the fourth quarter. Seth Lewis shows us if that's going to improve, it all starts with a quarterback play in Hammond. Southeastern is certainly no stranger to a quarterback competition during fall camp. Eli Sawyer this year returns to the room, but transfers Damon Stewart and Tanner Murray are also in the thick of this competition. Lions head coach Frank Selfo is certainly not afraid to play two guys, but the biggest thing he's looking for from his QB is steadiness. I think the consistency is always an issue, right? You got to be consistent in what you do and take care of the football. And that's the most important thing for the quarterback is to make sure you know what's going on. All 11 guys, you're comfortable with the offense and what's going on. But then you're able to take care of the football. I think you got to have more than one guy ready to go in this day and age. You're going to have injuries that takes place. And maybe a guy gets bogged down a little bit. And you want another guy to come in. Whoever comes in, we got to get our job done for sure. But it, mean, it, it may be a slight change if we got a running quarterback. I might have to just hold my block a little longer. He might be out the pocket. I just can't get caught for holding. But every other thing is just simple. We just stick to your tasks and dominate your person in front of you. Southeastern opens up the season with Tulane in week one, a place that Coach Selfo spent 11 years as an assistant. And his son and current OC, Anthony Selfo, was a starting quarterback for the Green Wave in the late 2000s. Selfo saying, it'll be pretty cool to go back. I still have some great friends there. I still pull for Tulane. I wish them all the luck in the world. That is, except for week one. In Hammond, Seth Lewis, WWL, Louisiana. Yeah, thanks, Seth. And our four takeaways from the Saints preseason game in San Francisco coming up tonight at 10. Back with more in a minute.